Hi, in this demo, we are going to look at how we can make use of the workflow in Ansible Automation Platform to create virtual machines on Nutanix virtualization platform. This is the dashboard of the Nutanix Prism where it shows the various attributes and information relating to the resources that's available on Nutanix. So if we were to look at the compute and storage section, we will be able to see the information relating to virtual machines. Over here, we have a RHEL 8 golden image that was created earlier on, and we have used that to create a golden image that can be found in the images section from the Prism dashboard. So other things that you can see from the dashboard includes subnet information. Today's demo, we are going to leverage on the VLAN 104 network. So let's just go and look at the available REST API for Prism. From the API Explorer, we will be able to see the various APIs that can be used for Nutanix. So you can see over here that we will be using the VM's endpoint in order to perform the demo today. In particular, we want to be able to create a new virtual machine by post rest call towards the VM's endpoint. So it is important to note that while there are no official Nutanix Ansible module at the point of recording, we are able to leverage on any of these endpoints that is available from Nutanix Prism to be able to perform the relevant API calls and actions as needed in order to for instance, create a virtual machine, subnet, or other kind of operations that is needed for our purpose. Hence, Ansible will be able to control the Nutanix virtualization platform via Prism using REST API by leveraging on the URI module that we have available today. And this is the playbooks that we have written. So the playbook to create the virtual machine leverages on the URI module that will call upon the relevant endpoint within Prism to be able to get information relating to images, subnet, etc., and then generating the relevant JSON body in order to be able to create the virtual machine. So if you were to look at the create vmjson.j2 template, we will be getting all this information as extra variables coming into the Ansible controller survey form. So the next thing that we do is let's look at the projects. The Nutanix demo project is what we'll be using for today's demo. It is using source control. The host itself, we do not have the new virtual machines registered in the host list at the moment. It will be automatically added to the inventory as part of the workflow. As for the templates, we will be using the workflow job template for Nutanix VM create. We have exposed VM name, number of vCPU, as well as RAM to allocate for the virtual machine in the survey form. So the workflow has started we can see that the information relating to golden image subnet has all been retrieved by Ansible and is creating the virtual machine based on the image retrieved. At this juncture in time, if we go back to Prism, you will see that the VM has been created. Looking at the console, we can see that it has reached login prompt. So let's just wait for the attribute to be retrieved. In this case, we have an external DHCP server that has assigned the IP address to the virtual machine. So now we are just waiting for the Nutanix platform to get the information relating to that. So now the IP address has been found and has uh, shown up in the Prism UI as well, as seen over here. So the next part is to add the newly created VM into the controller inventory. So we can see that 
the host has been added to the web group. After which, we will do a update. In this case, we have created a repo that we will set up on-prem as well as to upgrade all the packages. The last piece is really to set up the Apache service running on it. It can be any applications or other stuff that we want to install. In this case, we decided to install Apache. So we can see that the workflow has completed successfully without any issue. If we look at the inventory, we can see that the newly created host has been added. And this is the IP address that has been assigned. So we can see that the Apache service is running without issue on this particular IP address. This is the end of the demo. Thank you for watching.